Hey everybody, I'm coming, making this video message to talk to you all about the spirit of jealousy. Now here and there, I talk about this spirit in other videos and certain things that I post, but I want to give you all more information because I know it would resonate with a lot of you and I know that it would help some of you all. Let me explain to you all one of the reasons why certain people struggle with jealousy. They struggle with it because they are not happy with their life. You cannot honestly measure what true happiness is because what makes me happy does not mean it would make you happy. And so I like to tell people all the time, you know, nobody, I don't believe personally that anybody could perfectly measure happiness. And in the word of God, God has never promised us happiness. He talks about having unspeakable joy. He does talk about joy, but he has never promised us happiness because happiness, it comes and it goes. Life is a roller coaster. You have ups and downs, you have failures and you have wins. But when someone is not happy with their life, for whatever reason, they will sometimes watch other people or they will look at other people and what appears to be perfect in their life and they will begin to be jealous or envious of what they see. But I want you all to know something. Make no mistake about it. You could see someone that is very well accomplished. They have a lot of money. They have the man or woman on their arm that they want. And it seems like everything that they touch, uh, it flourishes. But that does not mean that they are not jealous of someone else. It doesn't mean that they are not jealous of other people. Um, there are people out here who don't have the man or woman on their arm. They are, may be single. They may not have a place to stay. If they do have a place to stay, it may not be the best place. They may be broke. They may not have money. They may struggle to pay their bills. There are people out here, they have a car that is not the best or they may not have a car and they can still struggle with jealousy. You all need to know this. You need to know that it does not matter because this is a myth that a lot of people um, have had circulating for probably generations upon generations where people are haters and people are jealous and people are envious because um, of things that somebody else has. And that is just not true because someone, I have come across people, I know people right now, they have a nice house, they have a nice apartment, they have a beautiful car or a luxury car. They are in a relationship or married to um, a particular man or woman that they want. They have money. I'm talking about there are people out here who have money to the point they can pay all of their bills, give you some money if you need it, and still have enough money to play around with if that's what they chose to do but they are still wrathfully jealous of other people i want you all to understand something too when you step into a room or a certain person or people come up on the scene and it looks like they have everything together it looks like everything that they touch it flourishes and it appears like they are established and there is no type of struggle in their life from what you can see or you have never heard that they are struggling pretty much with anything or um you know common things that regular everyday people struggle with i want you all to understand that just because you are in the presence of someone who seems more accomplished or successful it does not mean you standing next to them or being in their presence that you are a defect hello i'm gonna say it again it does not mean that you are a defect or that you're defective you all need to understand that i got to be real direct and intentional with this because some people when they are around certain ones or they hear about the success stories of certain people they will feel like them standing next to that person and that's if they even have the courage to, and confidence to even be in the presence of that person or people they will feel like they are a defect okay and some people you have you know 
you've counted yourself out. You may feel like you don't have, uh, you're not worth being in the presence of a certain person because they have accomplished too much. And you look at yourself as a defect or as a failure. Let me let you all know something. In the word of God, God says that jealousy is a catalyst for conflict. Jealousy is one of the works of the flesh. And the reason why some people are jealous is because they simply are not happy with their life. Another reason why certain people are jealous is because they don't know who they are in God. When you do not know what God has for you, when you do not know what God has for you to do, when you do not recognize what God has already done in your life, you will have the tendency to look at other people and feel like you are a total loser. I have come across people like this. They feel like they are a loser up against other men and women because they appear like they are successful. If that is you, I'm telling you today that whether you have accomplished a particular thing or not, you still will not be fulfilled. You still will not be joyful. You still will not be confident and happy until you truly know who you are in God or until you come into the revelation and understanding of what God has for you. Another reason why people are jealous is because they don't know how to count their blessings. Let me tell you all something. I don't care whether you are in a trailer. I don't care whether you out here living your van life. I don't care whether you living with somebody. I don't care whether you have a car that's beat up or you don't have a car. You riding a bike. You taking Ubers. You on the train. You're on the bus. I don't care what it is. You need to count your blessings. You need to count where you are now. You need to count what you have now. Because you better understand that there is always going to be someone that looks at your life and they're going to wish they were in your place and take your position. There are people who probably envy you because of where you are. And you all also have to stop thinking that jealousy is always about what somebody has and how somebody looks. Some people can have it all, but they simply lack strength. Did you all know that? Did you know that some people are very weak mentally or emotionally? And they will look at you and things can be thrown at you left and right. I'm talking about life has dealt you a bad hand of cards, but you are still strong you are still very confident. And that brings certain people to jealousy. Did you all also know that your coping skills can be on a different level than somebody else and they will be envious and jealous of that? If you are the type of person, you don't need alcohol or drugs in order to cope with hardship or heartbreak or stress. But there are some people, they will tell you, I cannot function. I cannot go to work, I cannot sleep, I cannot do particular things unless I get high, unless I pop a pill, unless I get drunk. Now don't get me wrong, this is not to shame anybody. This is not to throw anything in anybody's face. These are just pure facts. You all have to understand, jealousy is a large topic. There are many levels to jealousy and there are many reasons why certain people are jealous. There are over, I think, 35 or 40 scriptures in the word of God that is talking about jealousy. But on today in this video message, I want to let you all know, you better start looking in your life and counting the blessings that you have now. I don't care how big or small they are. You better tap into the promises of God and you better get to a point where you find out what God is calling you to do and who God has created you to be. You don't have time to pay attention to what everybody else out here is doing with their life. You got to mind your own business. It's enough trying to keep up with yourself in your own life, let alone following and focusing on the lives of other people. God has something for you. God has a job for you to do. There is something you can offer other people. 
You bring yourself down. You break your own heart. You disappoint yourself because you are always comparing yourself to other people. Or you will allow bragging coming from other people and other people throwing in your face what they have accomplished, what they have done, their visions and their goals. You have allowed all of that to get in your spirit and some way you have got lost in the sauce. You need to find out what your job is. And I don't care how bad you feel your life is going. If you are living and if you are breathing, that is an indication that you are blessed and that God is not done with you. Your strength, your confidence, your perseverance sometimes can bring people to jealousy and envy. We got to stop this myth that has been going around for generations and generations that haters are developed and jealous people are manifested and evoked and they step on the scene simply because of how you look or what you have. That is not always the case. Jealousy can come from you just making a decision to keep moving forward. Jealousy can come from you making a decision that no matter what goes on in your life, you will not give up. You are not defective. You are not a defect next to someone else who is successful. Please understand that success is something that you can create for yourself. Success is not always cars. Success is not always owning a business. Success is not always having money. Success is not always getting that man or woman that you want. Success can be that you are battling and struggling with something and God gave you the strength and he delivered you from it and you became victorious. That is another level of success. If you were able to be the peacemaker in a certain situation with a family or with friends or with a couple because there was dissension there, they were at each other's throats and you stepped on the scene and you were able to pray somebody through, you were able to uplift them with your words you became the shoulder to cry on. You were simply there for somebody. Your presence was enough. That can be looked at as you being successful in that particular area. Tap into what God has for you. Look around. Count your blessings. You have not failed at life. If you are still breathing, if you are still breathing, your life is not over. I want you all to let that sit with you. I really want you all to really, really sit with that. People who have fulfilled their purpose, people that have done what God has called them to do, even if they made a mistake and they did not do what God called them to do, it was up to God to take them. It was up to God to call them home. And if the enemy took somebody's life, God allowed it for whatever his reason was. But if you are still living and breathing, you have another shot to do what you need to do to advance yourself in life and find your happiness. You have another shot and another chance to find your purpose. You have another shot. You have another chance to figure out what the call is on your life. Instead of being envious and jealous and resentful of other people, 
that you feel have made it and they are successful and they have all the things that you don't or they live the life that you desire ask yourself what is it that I can do that would make my life better do you all know the magnitude of the deliverance that people would receive if they simply ask their self that question if you sat down in your personal private time and you simply said you know what instead of me being jealous and envious of her instead of me being jealous and envious of him instead of me sitting back hating on them and comparing what they have to what I have what is it that I could do to make my life better what is it that I can do to bring happiness in my life and peace and joy you all are looking at certain people who have a particular body and you say I wish I had that type of body or I wish I had the discipline that they had that they have to go to the gym can't you get up and can't you go and possibly work out or can't you develop um a plan for eating different your body won't look exactly like somebody else's but you can get to a level where you are healthier if you feel like okay this person has a man or a woman in their life and they treat them like a king or queen hey listen why can't you go to God and say okay God I'm gonna tell you all something this is what you need to ask God honestly and it may not resonate with all of you but you all you can go to God and say you know what God am I better being single because I have an issue with all of these people getting married or my close friends getting married and I'm still single I have been a groomsman or I have been the bridesmaid in many weddings but I have not yet had my own so father I'm asking you today am I better single or would I be a better woman and accomplish more being married? You can ask God that. This is part of you building your relationship with God. You go to God about all your anxieties, cares, desires, issues, and concerns. All I'm telling you all, you don't have time to be jealous of anybody else. And certain things that are attainable, certain capabilities that you have. Because see, the reality is some people, you don't have the capability to do what other people do. It still does not mean you're defective or a defect. There are just some things that are not in us and you need to be okay with that. But things that you can touch, things that you can reach, things that you are capable of doing, you need to be asking yourself, what can I do to make my life better? What can I do that would make me happy? Instead of worrying about all these other people and what they're accomplishing, and I'm sitting back in secret, and I'm hating on them, and I'm being jealous of them, and I'm envious of them, and I want them to die because I'm filled with rage and hate and jealousy because they out here living their best life doing what they need to do, but I'm sitting here and I don't have anything. Self-imposed negativity. <laughs> that is like the cousin of jealousy. I'm going to tell you all, you better tap into the word of God. You better go to God and figure out, God, what is it that you want me to do? What are my spiritual gifts? What do you have for me? And before you do that, you better look around at what you have now. There is always a reason to praise God. There is always something that you can look at right now in this second and in this moment, on this day, in this month and in this year and say, you know what? I'm thankful. I praise you, God. And it's little things. It's little things. Stop complaining. Stop crying. Stop dismissing people that could possibly be your destiny helper. Stop being rude and mean. 
Stop slandering people that could possibly be a God-ordained friend that he is trying to bring in your life. Stop rejecting certain people. Stop smacking your lips and rolling your eyes when a certain person's name comes up or they walk in a room because you are jealous. It is a ugly spirit and the Bible says that jealousy is as cold as a grave. <laughs> the world would be a better place if a lot of stuff went away but one thing I can tell y'all, the world would be a better place if people were not jealous. That's real. Jealous, jealous people and jealousy is destructive. Jealousy has caused people to get completely out of character and destroy their life, miss opportunities. It has done so much damage to different people. I want you guys to think about that. That's the video message. Well, guys, I got to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord willing, I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have been offended by anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.